Welcome, welcome, boys. Okay, in this video, we are going to be testing the Camaro's battery. And then once it fails its test, because it's old, we're going to restore it. I'm going to show you how to do that. So first things first, as we can see, uh, it is in the vehicle. This is going to be, I guess, after a charge. There's a regular flooded. Mm, let me check the cold cranking amps right quick. Okay, confirmed 720 for the battery in the back. Replace, state of health only 12%, 71% charged. So we'll go ahead and start it, see what kind of readings we get. You'll be able to see it, I'll have to go back and check it. But once we know how bad it is, see if we can revive it, because this is the factory battery after all. Cranking low, it goes down to 9 volts, it takes about 5 seconds to crank or so. I don't think it took quite that long, but it does drop down to 9 volts. So we will need to uh, revive this battery or replace it. I'm not a big fan of replacing it. I have a big machine, so we will uh, revive it. I'll show you how to do it, and then we'll compare results. Okay, boys, here's what we got going on so far. We got this big, huge machine with 200 amps, and the uh, technique is, of course, to put it on 12 volt start for 15 minutes and attach it to your battery with the caps off and then it's going to start boiling once you give it power and don't worry it won't explode or nothing because any sort of pressure is escaping clean through the hole so as that's boiling you should be cleaning those plates off evaporating any yuckiness in there and giving us a decent reading. So let's see, now this is after one treatment, and I've let the battery cool down. So I give it 15 minutes, we can cool them down for about 30. Well, as we can see, we're already at 13 and a half volts. I guess technically this will be after the charge. As we see, we have an improvement now. We're at 39% state of health. It's almost 100% charged. Six ohms of resistance. I don't remember what it was earlier. I'll have to go back and check. Uh, it still says replace, but we have made an improvement. So let's just do that a few more times, and then uh, we'll see where we're at. If we can get her pretty close to 100%, that'll be good enough. I'll go ahead and park it. And put the trickle charger back on it and should be good to go for another however many years until I drive this thing again. Okay boys, this is after our second treatment. <clears throat> Battery voltage is 13.26. Okay, so we're at 44% state of house. We're up to 505 amps. 5.9 ohms of resistance, and I don't remember what we started with, but it was probably between like 180 and 200 and something, I'd imagine. So we've more than doubled our amps in the battery. So let's try it a couple more times and see if we can get this amperage up to close to 700, or state of health up to nearly 80%, if possible, and uh, get this replace out of here. And hopefully, it'll say good recharge okay boys this is after our third time forty seven percent we're up to five hundred twenty amps so this has replaced so I reckon if I did this a few more times, I could probably get this percentage up. Or, if I had, ideally if I was at my house with this, uh, prior to even doing all this, I would have actually dumped all this fluid out. And then, 
you know, cleaned it, strained it, filtered it, got all the debris and shit out of it, and then did this test. Or done this and then cleaned the fluid, vice versa. I'm not sure which would be more efficient. Maybe boiling everything out of it, I think, would be more efficient to do what I did first. And then if I had the uh, facilities, if I was actually at my own house instead of Site C here, I could get this done. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. I have to change oil in the Corvette, and I just changed oil in the Camaro. So we're going to close this video out now. Um, I do think that that big machine over there, my associated 200 amp made in USA battery charger slash starter, would work to restore these batteries. But we're going to do another test, I think, in a different video on the Crown Vic spare battery. And that's what we'll do. We'll try the same technique on it, uh, and then after boiling it and everything a few times, I'll go ahead and strain it, filter the water out, and then do that. So... Right now, I'm going to go ahead and call this a plausible work. Um, ideally, we want to start the car again and see if it works any different. So we'll do that. I'll go ahead and put the battery back in, and then we'll close the video out once I start the car and see how it works while it's, you know, if it gives it any extra oomph to start the car now. So be right back. We'll, uh, we'll continue this in part two when we test it on the Crown Big Spare battery. Once we get back to my house and not on Site C. Thanks for watching, boys. Peace.